Hello students, welcome back to the class of discourse analysis. In this time, I would like to explain about approaches in doing discourse analysis. Actually, there are many kinds of approaches in doing discourse analysis, but in this time, I would like to explain approaches adapted from Deborah Scriven, one of the important scholars in discourse analysis. The first one is speech act theories. Speech act theories were promoted first by John Austin with three kinds of acts. They are locutionary act, illocutionary act, and perlocutionary act. The first one is locutionary act, which is the act of saying, which has a meaning. For example, when I say, it is raining outside, this shows that I'm giving a statement about the condition outside, which is raining. So, that's only saying something. The second one is illocutionary act, in which the act is not only about saying something, but it has an intention. For example, I'm stating opinion and I say, I think. So, that's recognized as illocutionary act. The next one is perlocutionary act, in which the utterance tries to see the effect of the utterance on the speakers. For example, because of my statement, the speaker is persuaded to do something. That we know as perlocutionary act. Besides the theories of John Austin, John Searle also formulated some kinds of illocutionary acts such as commissive, directive, declarative, and expressive. Well, the second approach in doing this course analysis is interactional sociolinguistics. Here, it is about the study of language use within the community, and it may cover anthropology, sociology, and linguistics. For example, we analyze the use of code switching in a particular community. Next is ethnography of communication, with the main focus is on the study of language, culture, and society. Say, for example, we analyze the politeness strategies in a certain ethnic group. Okay, and Conversation analysis is also another approach in doing this course analysis and in here we mainly concern about the analysis of spoken interaction. Next is variation analysis. Remember, we have various use of language use and those variations may lead to change in language and of course those variations can be analyzed in doing this course analysis. And the last one is pragmatics. Here, we can focus on the speaker's language choices and the effects on other speakers. That's all about the approaches in doing this course analysis. We may choose one of them.